Hello everyone. As uh, I have seen her from childhood itself, as being preparing for a pilot, I am uh, very keen about the course, pilot course. That uh, how is it uh, starting stages of the pilot and how she started and where she is now. So I have many doubts in that aviation. How the aviation is and uh, many many doubts in the cockpit and many doubts with the. A320 and Boeing, oh uh, means uh, every uh, types of uh, aircrafts. I have uh, many questions on this aviation topic, and first uh, well-known question uh, you might be aware of it that uh, black box, black box. Uh, whenever the airplane crashes, uh, the investigation departments yeah. seen for it is the black box. That what is the black box? Is the first question I want to ask you. Ask you, okay. And uh, whenever I see in the news, it all the time it's come. The first thing is the black box one. Right. So please introduce that. What is the black box in the cockpit and all that? So he has a very good uh, question. Black box. Yeah, it's really an interesting topic to know. He's right that uh, whenever the aircraft crashes or is if, if there is an accident or an incident, the investigators are looking after the black box. So, what is a black box? First of all, I will tell you in a layman's language, like you can say that it is a hard disk or a memory a memory card of an aircraft. So, it is an instrument which uh, records the activities uh, of the flight. So any commercial aeroplane, uh, it must be equipped with the CVR and FDR. Uh, so these two separate equipment uh, together is known as a black box. Okay. Uh, what is actually the CVR and FDR yeah. of course? Yeah, right. What is that? So I'm going to tell you further what is CVR and FDR. So both CVR and FDR are vitally important. After the crash, uh, it helps the crash investigators uh, to know wh what exactly happened before the crash. So CVR, it is a cockpit voice record. So it records whatever we speak in the cockpit, whether it's a, a communication between the pilots, communication between the ADC and uh, the pilot and whatever the warnings or the cautions in the cockpit, that is any voice coming inside the cockpit, it's recorded whether it's a stall warning coming or the engine voice is coming everything is recorded wow that's quite interesting yeah. but uh, really the fdr also work as a cvr regarding fdr uh, so yeah it works similar to cvr but the functions are different it is a flight data recorder so it records uh, the information about the flight like uh, the heading, its altitude, uh, the position of the aircraft, then what is the speed of the aircraft, all these uh, things are recorded by the FDR. Okay, both are needed, very important, right? Yeah, so what the audio from CVR and the uh, data from the FDR are equally important uh, so that it helps the investigators to find out what happened exactly uh, to the flight and the reason behind the accident and the incident. Then uh, does it record continuously? Uh, no, actually uh, the CVR it records last two hours of conversation and FDR records uh, the 25 hours uh, of the data. 25 hours? Yeah. Oh, uh, does recording is always on? 
uh, recording no there are there are certain conditions for the recording to be on so like uh, when uh, on the ground uh, one engine must be on for the recording then it uh, uh, it is continuously recording in the flight and uh, there is also a manual button so we can uh, start the recording but uh, using that manual push button so one more condition uh, regarding uh, the severe is that in energizers on ground uh, after the first five minutes uh, when the electrical network is energized so these are certain conditions for the severe but, uh, actually when it stops oh nice question so it stops uh, when we are on the ground and we shut off the last engine the five minutes after shutting out the shutting off the last engine it stops the recording when you park the aircraft right yeah exactly that's quite clear information i liked it but uh, really the black box is black in color i'm very confused in that good question again so no it's not black in color uh it's uh, orange in color it's okay. orange because uh, the orange color is a uh, bright and uh, it it can be easily detectable you know when there okay. is a crash uh, the aircraft uh, is into the pieces oh. and when the investigators are looking for the black box it should be easily detectable whether it's if it crashes in the uh, forest and forests are green so orange color is a bright you know so oh. it's easily detectable but uh, actually how does it look like but in a shape so regarding shape uh, it's a rectangular shape and very interesting thing i can say about the uh, black box is that uh, it's a crash proof and also it is a shock absorber shock absorber yes because uh, when the aircraft uh, falls or the crashes from the higher altitude so it bangs uh, on any object or uh, say a ground or anything with a high g load so it sustains uh, uh, all this thing like g loads and shock absorber and it is a crash proof also that's quite great but uh, what about the flame it gets the flame for it no it is uh, it doesn't get flame because uh, it has made so that it can uh, sustain up to 10000 degrees celsius of temperature mm, that's why it's better yeah the uh, what if it passes in the deep seas or in the oceans black box is uh, equipped with uh, the underwater beacon that is uh, the device get activates as soon as uh, it comes in contact with the water the beacon is in it right uh yeah so as the aircraft crashes into a deep water or the ocean the beacon it emits the waves with the beep sound so which helps to locate the position where the aircraft is and uh, the good thing about that is that uh, it can stay up to 30 days. It can emit the waves up to 30 days and uh, can be identified from 2 to 3 kilometers and uh, a depth of 20,000 feet. Means uh, if the investigation team is there, it can find within 2, two to 3 kilometers, right? No, that emits to, that beep emits uh, up to 2 to 3 kilometers. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that's uh, very fantastic all the conversation what you have given information that's very good and very realistic okay where is it placed in a the location, the location right? Right. Uh, so it is located basically in the tail cone section of the aircraft uh, oh, that is in the, the back the side of back it. and the aft of the aircraft okay but uh, why it is kept at the back of the aircraft why so uh, as compared to the other parts of the aircraft, the tail cone section is considered as a stronger part because if the aircraft crashes, um, it breaks into the pieces. Mm -hmm. So you can uh, imagine like if aircraft breaks, the tail cone is the entire section which will break. So the uh, black box is situated in the tail uh, cone section, so it will not get break and it's safe in the tail cone. 
That's why. Now, one and the last question. Yeah. That uh, can we erase the this what is recorded in that black box? Can we erase that? Uh, for the erase, there is one uh, button at the top uh, in the cockpit on the left side of the overhead panel. Mm -hmm. There is an erase button. If we uh, press it for the two seconds when on the ground, mm -hmm. uh, the data will be erased. But that's not allowed. So, both CVR and MDR are vitally important. Yeah as they help the crash investigator to find what actually happened in the aircraft before the crash. Exactly. Uh, so black box plays a very major role finding the cause of the accident and as well as help manufacturer to make the air travel as safe as possible. So if the accident and incident happen in uh, any air, aircraft accident, then uh, we cannot blame or judge anything right exactly so we just have to uh, wait uh, for at least the black box uh, to come so that we know the right reason what happened yes. exactly what's exactly there in the black box right yeah now. what exactly happened um, just before the crash and what's the reason behind the crash it plays a very important role yeah hope so, uh, with this discussion uh, you got a clear picture about yeah, the black yeah. box of course, I have got a very clear picture that what is the black box. It was a very difficult task for me for getting all this. That what is actually the black box. And it will be very helpful for any of the means uh, student or any your colleague who is my colleague who is uh, seeing this video and enjoying it. You'll be enjoying this video and uh, all the information what you have given on the yeah, black box course, so. that's uh, very quite informative and uh, i liked it and everybody everybody will be liking it i think so yeah i hope uh, you guys are enjoying this uh, yeah. video and you like this uh, discussion about uh, the black box so. yeah of course uh, so thank you so much nina for coming on my youtube channel and uh, I hope you like uh, the conversation of uh, both uh, with this black box. Definitely, the conversation was uh, all the good and uh, very informative. Then please don't forget to like, subscribe and share our channel, Colin Pilot. <laughs> so yes, so don't forget to like, share and subscribe, Colin Pilot. And continue to see her vlogs, all of the vlogs. <laughs> yeah, thank you. See you. See you, bye. Thank you. Bye.